Hello and welcome to English for You. I'm Reese and I'm Mike. And today we're suffering from social hangovers. Oh, such a busy weekend. So、mm. many parties. I just don't want to talk to anyone. Yeah, I get that feeling sometimes、yeah. when you just spend hours and hours talking with people, meeting、mm-hmm. people, which is great and fine, and you have a good time. So much fun, but then、yeah. mm-hmm. I just want to go home and be with my cat, turn off my phone, right, and just read a book. Because you, you have those friends who you have a great Saturday, and then they call you for lunch on Sunday.、Mm-hmm. Hey, come on, we're gonna have lunch together and do have another great day, and you're just like, no, it's nothing about you. It's just I need to stay home. I need to be on my own, and you know. Get over that big fun thing I had yesterday with all those people by having a quiet fun thing at home with just me and my cat. Yeah,、maybe. I consider myself to be very extroverted. That、okay. means I love going out,、mm-hmm. meeting people. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. pretty confident, but even I need time alone sometimes、mm. when I can just be with my thoughts and my cat、mm-hmm. and my video games.、Mm-hmm. Anyway, today's article is about social hangovers. That feeling of exhaustion that you get after you've been social for too long. And social is one of our vocabulary words, which we'll talk about a bit later. Reading. What is a social hangover? You're out with your friends, and everything is great. The next morning, however. You're completely exhausted. What's happening? You may be experiencing what's called a social hangover. A hangover is a condition that can happen the morning after drinking a lot of alcohol. You feel tired, and you may either have a headache or feel sick or both. Similarly, a social hangover can happen after a night with a lot of socializing. You're spent and want to be alone. Socializing is a lot of work for our brains. We need to think about what we say, how we look. Normally, this isn't a problem because we do it every day. But after staying away from groups of friends for so long because of COVID-19, many of us are out of practice. The good news is that this feeling is only temporary. Gradually, you'll get used to socializing once again. Meanwhile, don't be afraid to go home when you start to feel tired during a social event, even if it's early. All right. So the article begins by by explaining what this is like using a good example. It says you're out with your friends and everything is great. So it's a Friday, Saturday night. You're at a party or something like that. You're having a good time with your friends. Everything is great. The next morning, however, you're completely exhausted. So you might go home tired that night, take your shower, go to bed, but then you wake up the next day, and you just find it hard to get out of bed. If people call and ask you to do something that day, you're like, "Oh no way! I'm not leaving my home." For some reason, you feel completely. Exhausted, and if exhausted is very tired, completely is sort of like 100% very tired. You're not just a little bit tired; you are completely, totally 100% tired. For example, after walking home in the rain, Julian was completely soaked. He didn't have an umbrella, so he was 100% wet. After walking home in the rain, and yes, exhausted is just a very high level of being tired. In other words, really, really, really tired. Yeah, we use exhausted for the end of a really long day or、mm-hmm. weekend or or work week when you're just、sure. like you just want to die on the sofa. Yeah, exactly right. Definitely don't want to go out and hang out with people. Well, the article continues,、mm. and it wants to explain this feeling. What's happening?、Hmm. You may be experiencing what's called a social hangover,、hmm. which is that phrase that we saw in the title of today's article. So let's have a look at what these words mean because they're quite important. And let's start with social. The word social is an adjective, and it means to do with people and friends. Something social is about talking with other human beings, making friends, chatting, and being together. Although animals can be social too, monkeys are very social animals because they live in groups together. 
But back to humanity, a social event is something like a party, where you meet your friends. A social person is a person who likes to spend time with other people. I think I'm quite social. Or we could say a social faux pas. A social faux pas is when you do something wrong in front of other people that makes them go, ugh, why did he do that? Maybe something like farting in an elevator would be a social faux pas. It's something you shouldn't do in a social place or a social setting. More recently, we've seen the word social media cropping up every day. Platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are different kinds of social media because they're all about being social and interacting with other people. Here's an example sentence with social. I have no time for social activities this week, as I need to study for my exams. Then we have the word hangover, which is a noun, the adjective form being hungover. Being hungover or having a hangover is when you drink too much alcohol and then the next day you will feel very bad because alcohol is basically poison. The hangover is your body trying to recover and process, process all of that alcohol. Now, in today's article, we're not talking about a hangover that comes from drinking beer or wine, but we're talking about a social hangover. So the word hangover can also be used for any period of time when your body or your mind is feeling tired or painful after doing something else. Mm, yeah, we might think of a jet lag, having jet mm. lag when you travel a great distance. That's kind of like a time hangover. Or you might also think, I don't know if you've had this, maybe after a big holiday or a mm -hmm. celebration like your birthday or Christmas or the day before you got to go back to school after Chinese New Year. Yeah. You know, you just don't feel so good because something that happened. But of course, when you drink alcohol, it's a physical thing. In other ways, it's more of an emotional kind of thing. Let's get back to the article. It says a hangover is a condition that can happen the morning after drinking a lot of alcohol, right? Your body is really not feeling good because you put all this stuff into it that's not good for you. But what do you feel? You feel tired and you may either have a headache or feel sick or both, right? As you said, alcohol is kind of a poison. It's not a natural thing for our bodies. I mean, a little bit is okay, but if you have too much, especially if you have too much too fast, it can really make your body feel bad because your body doesn't like having that much alcohol. It's a strange thing that as adults, we like to make our bodies feel terrible by drinking too much <laughs> alcohol. Well, you feel good before you feel bad, but you can feel real bad. True, probably you guys are not old enough to be drinking alcohol, but when, when you reach 18 or, mm -hmm. is it 18 in Taiwan? I think so, yeah. yeah you maybe yeah. will be allowed to start drinking, but just do it responsibly if you choose to Please do so. Please do, yes. And of course, any morning where you wake up and go, I'm never doing that again, remember that. Remember that and never do that again. All right, let's look at our language in focus. All right, so our language in focus part for this article, well, it focuses on choices. Sometimes we have choices. We have A, we have B. Sometimes we can only do one or we only want to do one. Sometimes we want to do both, even though they seem very different. Now, how do we express this in a sentence? Well, for the first one, if it's a choice between one or two, A or B, you can say either A or B. I will have either pizza or a sandwich for lunch today. I haven't chosen, but those are my two choices. I will pick one of those. So it connects these choices and only one of them can or will be chosen in the end. I can have either A or B. I might have either A or B. I feel like having either A or B, but I'm not gonna have both. I will end up choosing one. But let's say you are really, really hungry that day. Maybe you have a bad hangover of some kind, or maybe you just skip breakfast. In that case, you might say both A and B. So either signifies a choice between one or two. Both means one and two, right? So you're gonna say, I didn't have breakfast this morning. I will have both a pizza and a sandwich for lunch today. Well, good luck eating all of that. Sounds like a lot of food. In, these, in the article, 
We read it this way: You feel tired, and you may have either a headache or feel sick or both. There we have a third choice. You could have A, a headache; B, feel sick; or both, meaning A and B. So choice C. Is the worst choice there? All right. We could also actually say, if you drink too much, you will have both a headache and feel sick because your body will be really unhappy with you. All right. So a real traditional hangover: you drink too much alcohol. The next day, your body, your actual stomach, brain, your bones, whatever, can feel really bad. But if you just go out and see a lot of friends, your body might feel fine. You're not going to have a stomach ache. Because you chatted with many people the day before, but、huh? maybe something else will feel pretty bad.、Mm. As the article explains, similarly to an alcohol-induced hangover,、okay. a social hangover can happen after a night with a lot of socializing. Interesting. You're、yeah. spent、mm. and want to be alone. Okay. So with a social hangover,、mm. it's probably more of your mental well-being,、mm. your mind that is exhausted. And not your physical being.、Okay. Although with an alcohol-induced hangover, if you've been at a party,、mm -hmm. you might have both. You could a regular hangover and a social True. hangover. True. And with both of them, you don't want the next day what you did a lot of the day before. Yes. The、absolutely. next day, you're like, nope, I'm done. I need to take a break from alcohol or from socializing. <sighs> You're spent and want to be alone. Here, the word "spent" means exhausted. You have no energy left. You have spent all of your energy, like money, and、mm -hmm. now you have none of it left. That's why you're left feeling so terrible. So, socializing is an activity, and it comes from the word "social." To socialize, which is a verb, means to go out and speak to people, to make new friends, or maybe meet old ones. Be around people, talk to them, get to know them, maybe do some activities together. All right. Now this might affect certain people more than others, but a lot of people might feel, you know, their social battery, their their energy to socialize is a little lower the day after that big party. Why? Well, socializing is a lot of work for our brains. It's true. We need to think about what we say, how we look. And many, many other things. So you might be out having fun, but you're trying to be funny. You're trying to be witty. You're trying to make friends. You're trying to, if you're me, remember everybody's <laughs> name because you met them for the first time. So it is actually kind of a workout for your brain to socialize. You know, especially when you're meeting new people、mm. and things like that. So yes, your brain can be tired. What is your brain? It's that thing inside your head up here, the thing that you think with. The thing that controls much of your body—that's your brain. When we talk about our mind, our mind is kind of the thinking part. The brain is the actual thing in our head. It's gray. It's about this big. Blood flows into it. Memories and emotions and all sorts of things are in there, and it controls much of our body as well. For example, some research says that drinking tea and eating fish can both be good for our brains.、Hmm, more tea and more fish, then. Right. Not necessarily good breath after、yeah. you drink tea and eat fish,、Ooh. but maybe good for your tests. Yeah, green tea and sardines. Ugh, that would make for an interesting、yeah. breath combination. Not for socializing. <laughs> Well, back to the article, and、mm. it says normally this isn't a problem because we do it every day.、Mm -hmm. That means socializing, socializing. is、okay. something we do most days. It's true, even at school or at、mm -hmm. work, you're talking, chatting. Yeah,、okay. I guess even if you go out and go to the supermarket, you might speak to somebody. That's kind of a very minor a form、bit. of socializing, but usually socializing refers to speaking with your friends.、Mm. But after staying away from groups of friends for so long because of COVID nineteen, many of us are out of practice.、Mm, good point. That darn COVID nineteen coming here to ruin the party again. It's true. During COVID times, you know, especially in some parts of the world,、mm -hmm. 
People didn't see other people for months at a time. Yeah, or if it was, it was one on one with a Zoom call. Yeah, very different from being out at a party with all these people around you at the same time. It's kind of like you know, if you're the per- if you're a person that goes to the gym to work out their、mm, muscles,、mm. if you stop going to the gym for two or three months, your muscles will begin to get smaller. In the same way, if you haven't practiced your social skills in a long time,、mm-hmm. perhaps you will forget how. How to use them,、mm. and that could make the social hangover even more severe. Anyway, we use the word normally here in the article. Let's take a look at what that normally means. The word normally is an adverb, and it comes from the word normal. Normally means under normal or usual conditions, as a rule. If something is normally happening, it's in the usual normal situation. This is how that thing usually is or happens. We might use this word to talk about something we usually do or the way something usually is. And sometimes, because we want to highlight that it's something different this time. For example, I could say I normally wake up at 8 a.m. So on most days I wake up at eight o'clock, but I could add on to that and say, "But today I woke up late at ten a.m." Or you could say Taiwan normally has typhoons in the summer. Most of the most of the typhoons happen during the summertime. Very rarely would they happen during winter. Almost never. Here's an example sentence. My parents will normally give me cash on my birthday instead of giving me a gift. So, because of COVID nineteen,、mm. we might be out of practice being social. That means we haven't done that thing in a very long time, and you know the same as using a language、mm-hmm. or other skills that you've learned before.、Mm. If you stop using those skills for months or years, you might start to forget how to do them. And in that situation, we can say we are out of practice.、Mm-hmm. I hope if I ever leave Taiwan、mm-hmm. uh, that I will be able to maintain my Chinese language ability. Because、oh, okay. if I'm out of practice, perhaps I'll forget most of the words. Absolutely, yeah. You can keep in practice or keep your skills up by listening. But you're right. Anything you don't do, even if you were really good at it before, but if you stop doing it for a while, it's just normal. You'll get out of practice. All right, so yeah, be aware of that. If you're suddenly socializing a lot more than before,、um, you need to be aware that yeah, you're out of practice. But as the article concludes, the good news is that this feeling is only temporary. In the same way that if you moved back to the UK or somewhere, didn't speak Chinese for a while. For a few years, but then you came back to Taiwan or went to China. You would find that your Chinese skills would come back very quickly. That feeling of being out of practice would only be temporary, only for a short period of time, not forever. Gradually, you'll get used to socializing once again. That's good. So, if something is temporary, or if it happens temporarily, to use it as an adverb, yeah, it happens for a short period of time. It's not going to be there forever. Maybe it's a, a new plan. Maybe it's something you had to do because there was a problem, or something like that. It's temporary, but it will end. It will go back probably to the way it was before. For example, let's hope that wearing masks all the time will only be a temporary rule. In Taiwan, right?、Mm. Especially when we're walking down the street and stuff, we don't want to do that forever. We don't want it to be permanent, which was the opposite. We would prefer that it's temporary. But this will change gradually. When things change gradually, that means they're changing slowly over time. There is change, but it's not a sudden change. It's not one day it was this, the next day it was that. No, it was something that happened very slowly. Humans, we grow into adults gradually. You don't go from 12 years old to you know being a boy or a girl to suddenly being a man or a woman. It happens over many many years, over a lot of time. But the change does happen. For example, the little seed gradually grew into a big tree over a period of 25 years. So yes, you will get back into practice. You will get back in shape gradually once again. We said there once again, meaning it happened again. It recurred. It it repeated itself. Maybe after a lot of time passed, but it did happen one more time or once again.
Yeah, and because this process is gradual, because、mm-hmm. it happens slowly over time, you guys need to give yourself a break. Don't、mm. push yourselves too hard、mm. to jump straight back in immediately. It's going to take some time, and that's what the article explains. Meanwhile, don't be afraid to go home when you start to feel tired during a social event, even if it's early. There are some people at parties who are like, "Oh, you're going home, but it's、mm. so early."、Oh, was, ignore those people.、Mm. You do what makes you feel happy and comfortable. It's just a party. They've got other people to talk to. The important thing is that you feel okay. So the article used the phrase "even if" here. This means despite the possibility that, or no matter whether. We use this phrase even if to show that you should still do something despite this reason. I want to go to the hot springs even if it rains.、Mm. So there is rain, but I still want to go to the hot springs. I don't care about the rain. Another example could be: You should stay inside during a typhoon, even if your home loses power. So it doesn't matter if the electricity disappears and the lights go off. You should still stay at home because typhoons are dangerous. Well, that's the end of our article about social hangovers. I've definitely experienced a few of those in my time. Absolutely, Mike. How do you feel after our interaction today? Uh, tired, exhausted, and I need to go home and go to bed. Yeah, me too. But before we do that, <laughs> let's do our for you chat question to wrap things up. Chat. Today's for you chat question is all about being social, or the opposite, being alone.、Hmm. Mike, do you sometimes prefer to be by yourself? Why or why not? Yeah, I think I like a good mix of the two. Of course, I love to see my friends, love to go out, have fun,、um, but I do like to be alone at home too. Sometimes it's just kind of nice to just do what you want to do. You know, listen to what you want to listen to. Play what you want to play, read what you want to read, not have to worry about other people. But after a few days of that or a long week of work, going out to see your friends is also another way to really get some different kind of energy. But I find both of them are、mm. great and useful in my life. What about you? Yeah, I'm the same. You know, I love to meet my friends,、mm-hmm. but if you meet your friends every day、uh, of every week, then、uh, you're going to feel exhausted. Right. So it's good to have those times alone to recharge、yeah. your batteries. I even like to travel alone sometimes.、Okay. You know, I've been around Taiwan、uh, alone. It's an extended period of time where you can be、cool. with yourself and、yeah. you know have some thoughts that are uninterrupted、right. by technology or other people. Exactly, and when you spend that time alone, having experiences, the next time you see your friends, you'll have a lot of interesting stuff to tell them about.、Exactly. So it kind of makes the socializing part better too, because you're living your life away from your friends some of the time. You guys can think about this too. Do you sometimes prefer to be by yourself? Why or why not? Don't be afraid to spend some time alone. It doesn't mean you're lonely. It means you're getting in touch with yourself,、hmm. which is really, really important. Especially in a world where we spend so much time distracted by True. things, True. it's good to just take a moment and be with your brain. Anyway, that's all the time we have. We are suffering from a social hangover, so Mike and I are going to go our separate ways and relax at home. Maybe you can do the same after school. True. Take care, everyone. We'll see you back here soon. Bye bye. Vocabulary review. Completely. Sally decided not to have any more food after that big plate of noodles. She was completely full. Social. Jeremy speaks English with people from other countries at a cafe. It's a fun social activity for him. Brain. Jason had three tests at school last week, so now he wants to give his brain a rest. Normally. Normally. I ride a bicycle to work, but today it's raining, so I took the bus. Temporary. Lily's job is only temporary. At the end of the summer break, she'll go back to school. Gradually. You should start with a few minutes of exercise. 
and then gradually increase your amount of exercise every day. 智慧小补帖 Exhausted. Hangover. Alcohol.